this is an article that came out in Newsweek. So they're putting this little spin on the Earth magnetic field that's moving. And they're now saying this might have killed the Neanderthals. Change in climate. They weren't equipped to handle that baking hot sun and everything that was going on on the planet and they died out. Well, let's get into it, ladies and gentlemen. Changes to Earth's magnetic field may have been involved in Neanderthal extinction. And by the way, I don't believe Neanderthals look like this. I think this is a false image. And what they've tried to do was humanize this thing when it really was an animal. That's just my opinion. A weakening of Earth's magnetic field may have been involved in the extinction of Neanderthals, scientists have suggest. A weak magnetic field, they said, could have led to reduced protection from ultraviolet radiation. Evidently, this would have led to health problems that contributed to the decline of our ancient relatives. They're not my ancient relatives, mm -mm, not mine. In a study published in the journal Review of Geophysics, James Channel from the University of Florida and Luigi Baglotti from Italy's Institute of Marine Sciences have linked changes in Earth's geomagnetic field to the evolution and extinction of mammals, claiming that periods where the field weakened appeared to correlate to extinction episodes across the Earth. Really? Interesting. Earth's magnetic field extend from the planet's interior far into space. It protects the planet from the solar wind, the extreme of the charged particles coming from the sun. If these particles were able to impact our atmosphere, it could strip away the ozone layer that protects the planet from UV radiation. The magnetic field is in constant state of change. It moves around, gets stronger and weaker, and occasionally reverses its pole. When this happens, the magnetic field gets weaker. During one reversal, it took place around 41,000 years ago, known as the Lischamp event. The magnetic field is estimated to have fallen to just 5% of its current strength. In this reversal event, that Channel and Viglati believe helped wipe out a number of mammal species in Australia and Eurasia, including Neanderthals. As the field got weaker, more UV radiation from the sun was able to get through, impacting the health of animals and plants by changing their DNA. Over time, this could have led to mutations that would have been detrimental to health. I mean, this thing does not look, does this look human to you? I mean, look at the eye sockets. People don't have eyes that large or even a nose. I mean, it, it looked to me, it looks more like an animal skull than, uh, okay, let me move on. Previously, the extinction of the Neanderthals had been attributed to a number of factors, including increased competition with modern humans and climate change. Neanderthals were competing with modern humans in Europe for several thousand years and had different skills and tool industries. 
Channel told Newsweek. Well, they don't really know. None of us today were around during that time. All they can do is guess what happened. There is no evidence of anything dramatic such as war or genocide. Neanderthals and modern humans probably lived in distinct communities, although with occasional interbreeding. For 25 years, Channel has been working to reconstruct Earth's magnetic field over the last 2 million years. We started from knowledge of magnetic field behavior and the correlations with mammal extinction seem to fall into place, he explained. In a study, the researchers say two extinction events, one 40,000 years ago and another 13,000 years ago, both appear to have coincided with periods where Earth's magnetic field had been weakened. By looking at the past 200,000 years, they said the timing of branching episodes of the human family can also be linked to the magnetic field, suggesting UV radiation has played a big role in our evolutionary history. But how did us humans survive the weakening field when Neanderthals did not? Channel and Viglati said this is due to differences in the uh, aryl hydrocarbon rector. This rector controls sensitivity to UV radiations. The study suggests that humans were better protected from the harmful effects than Neanderthal, because those humans were melanated. Ladies and gentlemen, they were melanated and those Neanderthals were not. The insufficient, the insufficient uh, role of UVB, the radiation that caused sunburn in reducing megafaunal populations, including Neanderthals. Okay, so what are they saying? Are they saying the sun finally took toll on the Neanderthal and took them out? Because isn't that what this sounds like? Like they got, they couldn't handle the sun. They couldn't handle the radiation that was coming off the sun. And it killed them. I mean, I, look, if you're not picking this up, let me know what you think. Because that's what it sounds like to me. It sounds like the humans were protected from the sun and they had the darker skin right? And the Neanderthal, they didn't have any real good protection from the sun. And just from reading this, when they're talking about the UVB and that causes sunburn, so you're implying that the sun ultimately took the Neanderthal out. The research has limitations, date relating to the weekend of the, the weakening of the magnetic field and extinctions are not exact. So correlating the two with a high level of confidence is difficult. Furthermore, the role of the AHR in relations to the effect of UV radiation in mammals is still being investigated. Brian Thomas, professor of physics and astronomy, at Washburn University, Kansas, who was not involved in the study, believes the authors overstated the likely outcomes of the magnetic field changes. He told Newsweek, while some research indicates the weakening field could result in ozone depletion and an increase in UV radiation, he is skeptical these conditions could have led to extinction. UV can certainly cause skin cancers, but animals with fur should be well protected. And I don't know, and I don't think mutations caused by UV will be passed down to offspring. 
So what are you saying that the Neanderthals were so hairy they should not have burnt up from the sun? I'm skeptical of the connection with Neanderthal extinction as well. However, I could see being reasonable here is if the Neanderthal population was already reduced and stressed, then adding UV damage might contribute to that. Okay. It actually is not far-fetched. You know, the world was a very harsh place to live on, you know, back during those times. You got to look at how much they didn't have in ratio to what we have today. It is very different. But I still say I don't believe this thing was human at all. Those eye sockets, I no, we, no humans don't have eyes this big. And, and just a whole structure of the face is just extra large when you compare it to a human skull. And it leads me to believe, you know, when you put it next to a chimpanzee, it's almost, you almost can't tell the difference between the Neanderthal skull and the chimpanzee skull. Just look at, I mean, if you don't believe me, just go out there and look. But please tell me what you think, ladies and gentlemen, about this story. Um, where scientists are saying that the change in the magnetic shield, um, you know, the field that we are watching, actually it's happening right now, um, took out the Neanderthal. Let me know if you believe that's true. Who knows? Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.